Have you ever wondered how an aircraft, despite weighing several tons, stays airborne? Welcome to Aeronautical World, where we unravel the magic of flight. Today, we delve into the fascinating field of aerodynamics, the invisible force that defies gravity and propels us into the skies. At the heart of this magic lie four fundamental principles, lift, drag, thrust and weight. Each one plays a pivotal role in the flight of an aircraft. Lift, the upward force that defies gravity. Drag, the backward force that resists motion. Thrust, the forward force that propels the aircraft. And weight, the downward force that keeps us grounded. These principles work in harmony, creating a delicate balance that allows an aircraft to ascend, cruise and descend. They are not just theoretical concepts found in textbooks. In the realm of aviation, these principles are not just theoretical concepts but practical tools that pilots use every day. First up is lift, the force that opposes gravity and makes flight possible. Think of it like this, when an aircraft speeds down the runway, air rushes over and under its wings. The wings are designed so that the air moves faster over the top than the bottom, creating a difference in pressure. This difference causes the higher pressure below the wings to push the aircraft upward, creating lift. It's like a tug of war where the sky wins. So remember, lift is what gives wings to an aircraft, quite literally. Next, we have drag, the force that tries to slow the aircraft down. Just think of it as the wind resistance you feel when you stick your hand out of a moving car. Drag has two main types, parasitic and induced. Parasitic drag is the non-lifting resistance the aircraft faces in flight, while induced drag is created by the generation of lift. Together, these forces oppose the aircraft's motion, acting like a backward pull. In short, drag is like that annoying friend that always tries to slow you down, but in aviation, it's an essential factor that cannot be ignored. Now, let's move on to thrust, the force that propels an aircraft forward. Thrust is produced primarily by the engines of the aircraft. Whether they're jet engines or propellers, they all work by sucking in air combining it with fuel to create a high energy flow and then expelling it out the back. This expulsion of air creates a force in the opposite direction, forward. In essence, thrust overcomes drag and propels the aircraft forward. So, thrust is the go-getter of the group, always pushing the aircraft forward. Lastly, we have weight, the force that pulls the aircraft towards the earth. This isn't just about the aircraft's mass, but how gravity pulls it downward. It's a constant force, always working against lift. When an aircraft is stationary, weight is what keeps it grounded. But when it's time to take off, lift comes into play. By generating sufficient lift to counteract weight, an aircraft can ascend. It's a delicate dance between these two forces that pilots must master. In a nutshell, weight keeps the aircraft grounded, but with the right amount of lift, it's off to the skies. So, how do all these forces come together to keep an aircraft in the sky? It's a delicate balancing act, really. A successful flight is all about maintaining this balance. Lift, the upward force, must equal weight, the downward force for the aircraft to ascend or descend steadily. At the same time, thrust, the forward force, needs to be equal to drag, the backward force, for the aircraft to maintain a steady speed. When we tweak these forces, we change the flight conditions. More thrust than drag and you're accelerating. More lift than weight and you're climbing. It's a dance of precision and control, a dance that pilots learn to master for safe and efficient flight. Understanding and managing these forces isn't just vital for pilots though, it's the foundation of all aeronautical engineering, the key to designing aircraft that can fly higher, faster and more efficiently. And that, folks, is the magical dance of aerodynamics that makes flight possible. Stay curious and keep exploring the aeronautical world.